Hello again. Thank you for tuning into eighth episode of our video series Parallel Programming and Optimization with Intel Xeon Phi Coprocessors. In this video, we will cover native execution in further detail by running a Hello World program. We will do it with the three different methods using a secure shell connection, a special MPSS tool called MIC Native Loadex, and in the next episode using the message passing interface MPI. Let's begin by writing a basic application that prints Hello World and the number of logical cores the system has. The source code is fairly straightforward, just a single printf statement. The syscon function is part of the GNU C library. This function in our case cures the number of logical cores a system has. To test the application, first we'll compile it for execution on the host. We'll use the Intel C compiler. The command line tool for it is ICC. Note that because we did not specify an output executable name, it will default to a.out. When we run the executable, we see that there are 48 logical cores on this host system. Now let's compile and run the same executable on an Intel Xeon Phi coprocessor. As we discussed earlier, unless hardware-specific instructions are used, not a single line of code needs to be modified for this application to run on the coprocessor. We will use the ICC again to compile the code, but this time compile it with the dash MMIC flag. This flag tells the compiler to create the binary executable specifically for the MIC architecture. Note that binary executables that were compiled with this flag will not run on the host system. The following steps are identical to the procedure for running an executable on any remote host. We first copy the executable over to the coprocessor using the secure copy tool SCP. If you use network file sharing NFS to share your home directory with the coprocessor, you can skip this step. Furthermore, all library dependencies of the executable must exist on the coprocessor. A useful tool for determining which files to copy over is the LDD command. It displays all library dependencies of an executable and lists whether or not the dependency was found. To use it, SSH into the coprocessor and then use LDD followed by the name of the executable. To demonstrate this, we will link OpenMP library by providing -q OpenMP compiler flag. Therefore, OpenMP shared library .so file should be available on the coprocessor. Further, note that the library dependencies that are copied over must be ones that were compiled for the MIC architecture. Default location for the libraries on Intel Xeon Phi coprocessor is slash lib64, and you will need root privileges to copy any file to this location. Again, an alternative to copying all of the files over is to use network file sharing to share the libraries with the coprocessor. After they're executable and the dependencies are copied over, we can SSH into the coprocessor and execute the binary just as we would do on a remote host. When we execute the binary, we see that this particular coprocessor is a 7000 series Xeon Phi coprocessor because it has 244 logical cores, 61 physical cores with 4-way hardware threading. There is an alternative way to execute native applications on coprocessors, which may be easier to use when your executable has a lot of dependencies. In this case, you can use an MPSS tool called MIC Native Loadex. The advantage of this tool is that it is used from the host terminal session, and the code and dependent libraries are all transferred automatically. It is a great tool for quick testing native applications. To use MIC Native Loadex, you must first help the tool find the dependent libraries by setting the environment variable sync ld library path to the list of paths to the dependent libraries. Again, Note that those dependent libraries must have been compiled for the MIC architecture. If there are multiple directories that has the libraries, simply give a column separated list with all the paths. If you have dependencies on Intel libraries included with Parallel Studio, you can use a predefined variable like this expert sync ld library path equals dollar sign MIC ld library path. When we use MIC native loaddex, we still compile the program with the dash MMIC flag, just as we did for native execution through SSH. However, you do not need to transfer the executable on the Xeon Phi coprocessor with MIC native loaddex. Instead, in the terminal on the host, type in MIC native loaddex followed by the name of the executable. Here we can see that our application was actually executed on the coprocessor because there are 244 logical cores. Using SSH or MIC native loaddex to execute native applications is simple. Even if you are developing an offload application, sometimes it is useful to write performance critical parts as a standalone application in the native mode and use it for testing. 
as we saw in both methods, in order to execute an application on the Kapratzer. All of the dependent libraries must not only be shared, but also be compiled specifically for the Make architecture. When you install the Intel C compiler and MPSS, many standard libraries can pre-compile for both the host and MIG architecture. However, if you are using external libraries, then they may not be compiled for the Xeon Phi coprocessors. In this case, you must manually compile the library for the MIG architecture. Let's take a look at how this is done in practice. We want to compile the GNU Multiple Precision Arithmetic Library, or GMP, for the MIG architecture. As many open source libraries, GMP uses auto tools to produce a configure script, which in turn produce a make file. To compile the library for the MIG architecture, we must modify the way we run the configure script. First, we set the cc variable, which defines compiler to icc, and cflags option to dash mmic in quotes. This tells the configure script to use the Intel C compiler with the dash mmic flag when compiling the libraries. After that, we use double dash host equals x8664 flag, which specifies that we are cross compiling, because otherwise it will fail with the error message program does not run. Those settings are sufficient for many applications and libraries. However, GMP has a complication. It has inline assembly in some functions, which is written for the CPU architecture and cannot be compiled for the MIG architecture. It can be a major roadblock for cross compilation. However, GMP developers provided an additional flag, disable assembly, to pre processor weight the assembly and use only high level language code. Performance may suffer, however, at least the library will compile. And that's how it's done. Thank you for tuning in. In the next episode, we will see how native MPI applications can be executed on Intel Xeon Phi coprocessors.